Uh, Taoiseach, the government is in negotiations in relation to an extension to the uh, Crow Park uh, Agreement. And I'm sure you will agree with me that a fair and just outcome is essential uh, to those talks. However, Taoiseach, there is a growing concern uh, that the outcome um, will target and impose a disproportionate burden and hit on front frontline workers who work on a 24-7 basis uh, and on a rostered basis. About 80,000 workers are involved here. Gardaí, uh, nurses, prison officers, emergency medical technicians, uh, people who do work uh, through the night to protect our communities, to protect our streets, to provide emergency and essential services. And on a 20, 365 day a week, on a 24-7 basis. They're facing, in terms of the proposals now put before the talks, a cut of about 10% plus in relation to their pay and as a result of changes in their premium pay. And in plain euros, what this means for a Garda, for example, with 10 years services, and these are not my figures, um, will lose 200 euros per month, which is 50 euros a week, uh, which is a very, very uh, huge hit. A nurse on an average pay of 40,000 a year um, will pay or will face a cut of 320 euros um, a month. Now, Taoiseach, I would put it to you uh, that these amounts are excessive. And it does represent one group taking an excessive hit um, as opposed um, to any other. And what I will also say to Taoiseach that coupled with this, morale is very low in these services. Morale is very low in the Garda Shikona, for example, and is at a tipping point. I'm not saying this, the Garda are saying this to us and to every deputy who bothers to meet them um, and to talk to them. Uh, and we are in dangerous territory here, Taoiseach, uh, and you need to be aware of that. Um, the health sector, Taoiseach, depends on 24-7 rostered frameworks and structures. It can't operate without a 24-7 um, framework. There are alternatives that should be pursued. In my view, 320 a month of a cut is too high, uh, and 200 uh, for an individual is too high. <laughs> I would appeal to you, Taoiseach, and to those at the talks, don't sacrifice the health sector or the health service workers um, as the price to get a deal over the line. Thank you, I think it's essential, and I want the question I have to put to you, Taoiseach, will you ensure uh, that the outcome of these talks will not target or impose a disproportionate burden on those on the front line working 24-7? Thank, thank you. Well, the Minister for Public Expenditure and Reform was mandated by government to involve in, in the process of uh, the, the new Crow Park arrangement, which is a wage negotiation process, which is currently underway. And it's wrong of anybody to assume uh, that they can uh, state what the outcome of the negotiations will be. What the government want here is a fair and a balanced outcome across the board in respect of what the government's target here is for a, re a reduction in, in, um, in, uh, in, in, in uh, pay and, um, um, and pay levels uh, this year, leading to a billion extra of saving by 2015. This is a challenging position for every public servant, and I regard every public servant as being a frontline person in their own way. I've seen the different statements both from the um, representatives of the trades unions um, and of course you've seen them yourself from, from uh, trade unions in, in regard to frontline workers. But I want you to, to understand, Deputy Martin, that these negotiations are now on. They are at a critical and an intensive stage. And I would say to everybody who has a, who has a concern or an issue uh, that they wish to have uh, discussed and negotiated is to get back in there where the discussions actually take place around that table. So it's, it's not correct for anybody uh, to assume that they can state now what the outcome of those negotiations and discussions will be. When, when, you, when you speak of, of Gardaí, for instance, we had this yesterday at question time, we, we have absolute respect for the work that the Gardaí have to do. Uh, and I, I, I know from talking to Gardaí in different stations uh, that morale was very low. And part of that, Deputy Martin, was the fact that in, in the year 2009, 10 and 11, in those three years, there were 200 Garda vehicles purchased. In three years, 
200 Garda Vegas projects. In, 20, in 2012, there were 213 new vehicles purchased. This year, there's a 5 million allocation. I expect 250 new vehicles to be published because the, the Gardaí, the officers, do need the best facilities to do their job. The pay discussions are going on and they involve all of the public servants and I regard the job they do as being, as being absolutely critical to the provision of the best level of public services for our people and for our taxpayers. So rather than uh, attempt to predetermine what the outcome of the negotiations will be, I'd suggest that everybody should focus on what's at stake here. We have to make um, reductions to, uh, uh, to get to the point on the path to which we are committed, and that's to have our deficit down to 3% by 2015. This is challenging, is challenging for all public servants, but the place to work it out is at the discussion that takes place at the table. Thank you. Uh, yeah, Shuk, the, 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 the figures uh, that have been presented to me are from people who are at the table. I'm not making these figures up. It's people who are at the table um, are providing these figures. This is what has been tabled. And Taoiseach, it's people, it's people on the front line who feel, who feel they are being targeted and who feel the hit on them will be uh, disproportionate. And Taoiseach, I would put it to you that all public servants are not the same. They're not the same. I don't think that somebody and a group of people, for example, Sorry, would you please allow who have to Martin, drive through the middle of the night space. in pursuit of dangerous criminals, as you know and I know and the Minister of Justice know, happens up and down across the border on many occasions in the middle of the night putting their lives at risk. They are in a different category. Let us not pretend that they're not, that they're, they're somehow similar to others. They're not similar um, to others. That is why you had premium pay for day one in situations like that. Are people on the streets at three in the morning trying to deal with antisocial behaviour? Thank you. Um, they're different. Sorry, the role of paramedics or emergency medical technicians who have to perform emergency services at two, three, five, six in the morning has to be done. It is not, they're not all the same. And I think we need to acknowledge that, Tisha. And that's, that, that's the fundamental point that we, we, we should acknowledge. So I don't, I don't buy the divide and conquer approach here, Tisha. Uh, and the attempt really to single out and target emergency workers for what I'm saying Thank is unfair you. You. and a disproportionate hit on their particular incomes. Uh, and Taoiseach, that is the core point here, 320 euros a month. Thank you, David. And no one to date in the crisis has been asked to take that single hit as an individual. And every individual, irrespective of where they are in the scale, has their obligations, have mortgages and so on like that. You know, there, in, in previous occasions, it was across the board no one was asked to take 320 a month or 200 a month um, for, that motor, Thank you, for, that, for, for that matter. Uh, and I think, Taoiseach, that's the point I'm making. Uh, and in, in the context of the morale, the Minister for Justice is very clear that there's no, lack, Thanks, or there's no low morale in the Gardaí. I'm glad this morning you've acknowledged that there is. Uh, and we're just listening to people on the ground. Um, Deputy, and I, have to ask you to I would put it to you, there's a problem out there, Taoiseach, with emergency workers. I'm not making this up. I've been meeting all of them. Deputy, would you please resume your seat? Thank you. Of these talks to deal with that. Now, before you reply, Tisha, would you mind? Listen, listen. Would you please? I'd ask deputies to respect the person who's asking the question and the person who's going to reply. He, neither of them need your help from the back benches or anywhere else. So please, silence, please. Thank you. Taoiseach, without interruption. I'm not at all taken by the mock anger of uh, Deputy Martin in this matter. Everything you say these days is uh, going back on what you yourself signed off on here. In fact, in respect of the plan that you signed off and your government signed off on, in respect of the Gardaí, you, you, might, you might recall that for 2012, 2013 and 2014, what you had signed on in your plan for the God the Shia Khanna, because the Minister for Justice was able to recalibrate that there's actually 90 million more available for Gardaí and for what they for, the, for what they do Would you please? for each of the, for each of those three years, because of the situation uh, that you had left this left the state in, and the reason the reason. Deputy Martin, that we have to do all of these and make all these challenging decisions is because of the mess that was created by yourselves. Now I respect, I respect the work that every public servant does. 
and this is not an easy position for a great number of people. But I also trust the people who negotiate these talks to sit around the table where these wage discussions are taking place and to work out a fair and balanced situation across the board so that you're not going to have a situation where anybody feels that they have been deliberately discriminated against or targeted against uh, in these discussions. And that's why, Deputy Martin, you know this that you can't judge the outcome of any of these discussions by taking bits and pieces of c comments, allegations, speculation, and throwing figures here and there. These are intensive and serious wage negotiations. They are being conducted by professional people between the unions and management. And I hope, I hope that everybody Thank who you. has an issue, who has a concern and an anxiety, will sit down at that table and negotiate in a professional way a fair and balanced outcome for everybody so that we get on with dealing with the problem of our country here, 12 billion deficit this year, 9 billion next year, and 5 billion the year after. That's the unholy mess that we have to clean up. We're set on this course, and that's what we're going to do. I would, would urge everybody involved in these talks to sit there professionally and work it out in a way that we can have a future for all those who come behind us.